Hello everyone, this is Hadi on Created by Hadi and iOS 16.4.1 was released yesterday evening in my side of the world anyways so I'm here to talk about everything new although there isn't much new and bug fixes and the general overall experience on iOS 16.4.1 now first of all if you want to update to any software that's stable from now on you might want to check the software updates page and sorry yeah, there it is. You might want to make sure that beta updates are turned off. Yeah, and that's very important because it will take you to a beta. You have to turn that off. And also you have a developer profile in your phone. I don't think that works anymore. This is the only way to get beta updates now. So you might want to check this out before updating 16.4.1 so you don't make mistakes. Okay. So as far as the build number goes for this version, we have 20 e 25 and Apple claims there are fixes for pushing hands emoji, not showing skin tone variations, and Siri not responding in some cases, yeah, which I'll talk about now. Now as far as modem updates goes, there is no modem update in this version, yeah, the modem update is the same as the last one, so there is no change with network and all that. Like I said, this is a very small update intended to fix something very specific and urgent. Now as far as fixes go, pushing hands now changes skin tones. Yeah, this is it. Pushing hand. You can see it changes tones now. I can get the darker version and that works quite alright. So that's fixed. It wasn't before. It was an issue. As far as Siri fixes go, there was an issue where Siri wasn't responding properly but Apple claims to have fixed that. So now let's try it out. Hey Siri. Open Clash Royale. Okay, I guess that works quite alright. So, Siri responds more properly now. Hooray, Apple. Another issue we're having is with weather. Yeah, that's why I kept it right here. And Apple claims to have fixed that. Although that wasn't really a software thing, it was a back end thing from their server. So, let's see. All right, it works. Yeah, so also storage bugs are also fixed. No much issue with storage. The catch doesn't really take more than it should. Wait till we... There you are. I've used more than half of my storage, but catch doesn't take more than it should take. Yeah, I, yeah, just found out to five MB as you can see. So no storage bug, nice. Yeah, there are fixes on something called iOS Surface Accelerator and WebKit on iPhones 8 and later. So you might want to update to get these security vulnerabilities fixed on your phone. Should you install this update, definitely you should install it. As for the battery life, I don't really know what to say. It's the same thing with 16.4. Where do I get into battery? Yeah, battery is at like 89%, but is it basically the same thing? I got 11 hours of screen on time and 28 hours of screen off time. Wow, that is an awfully long amount of phone usage. Yeah. So, battery is quite alright. So, I think that's it for 16.4.1. We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel and, you know, you know the drill. Hadi out.